Adam Zashomale, a former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has reacted to comments by a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Babache Lawal, over the party's Muslim-Muslim presidential ticket. Now, Shomale said Nigerians should differentiate between a Christian by mouth and a devil by heart. He wondered why Lawal, who was involved in a grass-cutting scandal, could counter APC's Muslim-Muslim ticket. Appearing on TV on Wednesday, Oshomala stressed that the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu was a better Christian because he was married to a Christian for almost 40 years, with children practicing both Christian and Muslim faith. Well, joining us to discuss this debate is uh, Okeo Yesarafa Omole Esquire. He's a member of the All Progressive Congress and a human rights activist. And also joining us is Honorable Angu Ongu. He's a special assistant to the Benue State Governor on Student Affairs and also the Zonal Coordinator of the Atiku Support Organization. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure to be on your program this evening. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Um, Omoyele. Um, it's very um, interesting to see that we're continuing to have this conversation or this debate about the Muslim-Muslim ticket. Now, many have queried why um, the APC presidential candidate is trying to see if he could replay what happened um, during the... Um, um, 1993 um, elections, I beg your pardon. Um, and they're saying that this is 2022. Why don't you understand where the people are coming from? But again, we do have a divided nation when it comes to this religion uh, and politics. But what are your thoughts? Being that um, Baba Chair Lawal uh, is actually being the one who's being put on the chopping board this evening. Well... Our people must realize that politics is dynamic. I quite agree that um, we, we must be um, sensible and sensitive to uh, the feelings of our people. But, but having said that, we must realize that our politics should be issue-based and that um, religion should not be a determining factor for somebody or people who could lead us to the promised land. Nigeria is currently on a journey. And we must ensure that we look for credible, competent, and able people who could assist this nation to that promised land. So are you saying that there are no credible, competent people from another faith if they were to be put on that tenable ticket? Is that what you're implying? Because you started, I like that you started, but you started by saying that there is a need to be sensitive Knowing, I want to add, that Nigeria, that Nigeria is divided along ethnic and religious lines. And you said that religion should not be a factor, but it is indeed a factor in reality. So should we also blind our eyes to the fact that this is a factor and we must consider it, whether we like it or not? All right. Let me take us to the Nigerian constitution. This constitution is the grand norm for what I want to do politically qualification and what have you. Nigeria Constitution 1999 has amended. As amended. Does not recognize any religion. In fact, it states that Nigeria is a secular state. And on the strength of that, Religion, that's why I said, should not be the major point that we should be discussing. We should be concerned about the quality, capability, 
and the ability of those to be put forward to lead this country to the promised land. Okay. Okay. I, I think that we're having... Yeah, a let me say this. Okay, quickly, because I think we're having a delay from you, but go ahead. In Nigeria, particularly in Northern region, we have eminently qualified Christians who could be vice presidential candidate of APC. But we must understand the dynamics of Nigerian politics. But the issue of election, I must be sensitive to the fact that Northern region is populated by Muslims. And if you are looking towards winning an election, you must consider that factor. Then what is more? In picking the vice president candidate of APC, religion was not put in the front burner. Rather, merit. Okay. Integrity. Okay. I'm sorry. What the person is bringing to the table. I'm, this country. I'm so sorry to talk over you. There's a delay, but I got, the, I got the gist of what you're saying. So in one breath, and I'm tossing this now to Angu, in one breath you're telling us that, oh, in the north, um, we have more Muslims, you know, in the north. It's highly populated, but we have more Muslims. But in that same breath, you're also saying that, well, when we were considering this uh, vice presidential ticket, religion was not a thing. Two things that contra contradict themselves. Yes, you picked a Muslim, but you know, and that's because Muslims are, you know, the highest in the population. But then when we were picking a candidate, we didn't think about religion. Anyway, but, um, to you, Angu, I want you, I want you to explain to me why you think that, whether we like it or not, um, religion is a factor. Again, um, Northeast elders have said that the ticket of the APC is a very divisive ticket. I want to know if you share uh, that position. And just picking up from where uh, Mr. Moyele just um, you know, dropped off, uh, it, it, does this argument really hold water in the scheme of things? Anger, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, the Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC shows that they don't care about how Nigerians feel. It is a clear case of not feeling the pulse of Nigerians, and it has shown in how the APC run this country for the past seven plus years. They are dra draconal policies, anti-people policies, policies that have not reflected on the well-being of Nigerians. And that has, that has reflected very clearly in their choice of a running mate. It has shown that it is a party that does not feel the cost of the... Because this is a government that the whole security architecture of this country, this appointment have come from one particular region not just coming from one particular region of this country, they are also from a particular religion. And if the APC is a sensitive party, if it is a listening party, if the party care for Nigerians, the party would have known that Muslim Muslim ticket will not other well for them. Just like we all know, there are very competent Christians 
like the one you mentioned, the former SGF, Frederick. He is a competent Christian. The former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Dobara, a very competent Northern Christian. But then, but then politics is a game of numbers. It's, it's one thing to be competent. It's one thing to be able to uh, cut across, to be able to win, you know, the elections in itself. And many have also made a case for the APC saying that, yes, you have people who are competent from the other religion, but how capable are they, uh, are they, I beg your pardon, to be able to garner the much needed votes for the APC to win the election. I think that's also something that we should question. Thank you very much. I will not go into the debate of uh, number as much as it is very, very important in politics. But I must tell you that the whole of Southern Bauru the whole of a, a better part of Yobe, Kebi, Kanu, Adamawa, Bauchi, Buembe, all of these states I'm mentioning have about 45% Christians. And I know the media, the Nigerian media is not. Uh, our journalists are always not ready to do their job, How to do, do investigative mean? journalism, to know and maybe prove me wrong in what I'm saying. So if it is a game of numbers, I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't need to do Nigeria. this. I don't need to do this, but I will do it. It's very, very, it's very, very pedestrian to refer to the media as not doing investigative journalism. It's very pedestrian to say that. But go ahead. Like I was saying, the Christians have the number in northern Nigeria. And feeling the pulse of the nation, the APC would have known that a Muslim Muslim ticket is no further in dividing this country. I mentioned before. The appointment being made by the Buhari government, how day in day out appointments are treated towards a particular religion and people from a particular region. So, if they really want to win, even the Christians in northern Nigeria, I just mentioned that the northeast elder said that ticket is divisive. And I would like to rest my case on that. Okay. To say that the ticket of my party, the PGP, the ticket of His Excellency, the President in waiting, Alaja Atiku Abubaka, and Governor Okowa, Ifan Yokoa, are the ticket. Okay. All right. Let, let me. That Nigerians should vote. Okay. Because it's a ticket that unites all Nigeria. Okay. Uh, let me quickly, just, just to, to get a word in because we're out of time. Mr. Showale, uh, Mr. Omoyele, I beg your pardon. In, in a few words, I would too. in a few words, what can the APC do? I mean, it might be too late in the day, but um, this argument and, and mud slinging about the ticket, the, the Muslim Muslim ticket has continuously dragged even on, up until today. But then we also know, you and I know, that we're very divided along these lines. And now more than ever, there are tensions everywhere in the north, in the south, in the east, in the middle belt. How does the APC hope to quell these tensions and, and blur the lines with this ticket, knowing that there's a lot that is flying on this, uh, this 2023 elections, or not, a lot riding on these elections? Yeah, that's a very good question. Now, uh, we must understand one thing. When APC picked Ashwajibola Hamed Tinubu as his flag bearer, 
and he submitted his name and that of his presidential flag bearer to INEC. And that person was a Muslim. There was no cry about Muslim Muslim tickets. But the moment I saw Oh, I think that we've lost that connection with you, Mr. Omoyele. But I want to thank you, gentlemen. Well, Unfortunately, uh, I'm so sorry. We're having connection issues there, Mr. Omoyele. But I want to say thank you, gentlemen. Unfortunately, the connection has been really bad tonight. But um, Omoyele Sharafa is uh, a member of the APC and he's a human rights activist. I want to say thank you, Angu Angu. He's a special assistant to the Benue State Governor on Students Affairs. And he's also part of the Atikwa Bubaka a presidential campaign. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I wish we had enough time to address this issue. I wish we had enough time. Nigerians, go out there, vote for the PDP, vote for... No, Elijah, we're not letting people it. campaign on the show, gentlemen. Mm -mm. We'll give you a, an invoice for that. Um, but I want to say thank you, everyone, for being part of the conversation tonight. That's it on Plus Politics. I'm Mary Anna Kum. We'll be back tomorrow with a bumper package. Have a good evening.